not the universe. Earth, we're lucky. We've been blessed with life. Planet Earth has been blessed yeah, yeah. with the so exact. To sustain our life, we yes. need air. Yes, oxygen. yes, we do. Yeah, and yes, food, but right. why do we need a god? Well, why do? Yes, we're but jumping. that's that's, that's your. The what, problem what? is, if you jump towards the conclusion, you're, the moment you discuss with a theist or a Muslim, yeah. what you're doing is trying to tick box. Oh, what argument are they going to use? Cosmological, cosmological yes, argument. Yeah. Contingency argument, teleological argument. But that's inherently what it is, though. No, no, isn't it? that's what you're doing. But try to understand the no, argument that is presented. I understand the argument. Than it. Trust okay. me, I do understand the argument. So this believe, is my response. This is my so rebuke. You believe, you believe to make it into okay. Forget about morality. Yeah. You believe the universe always existed. Uh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Give me. I'm, I'm, I'm going now. Do you, you want to go? Do you want to go? No, well, I'll, I'll be, I'll be there soon. Okay, all right. Finish this off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, do you believe the universe always existed? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, my granddad's a, phys uh, a nuclear physicist. You know, he tells yeah. me about always the founding. Existed, right? Yes, yes. Meaning the Big Bang has happened many times, my friend. Without any beginning, right? Always there. Always We're there. going. It doesn't matter. We're going through it. We're going through a circle. So, and inherently, this is my point that why do we need a God? Why do you think the God question is? This is it. Because we're going. We're, no, no, no. I'm, no, no, no. Because if you don't understand the very basic foundations, then you will make an error in understanding what God is. No, 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 no. Because I'm telling you, I'm telling you. No, no. You, that, look, 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 look. I am not talking about God. I'm yeah. talking about the universe. Okay, the universe. Okay. okay. So my, 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 my perspective. Yeah, fair, okay. fair. So can an atheist, are you an atheist? Yeah. Can an atheist stop talking about God? Stop what? Can an atheist stop talking about God? Stop talking about God? Yeah. Yeah. Good. So let's talk about the universe. Yeah. This universe, in your understanding, is always there. Yeah, okay. it's been going, and it's going to be. And fine, it's fine, fine. So, you are not of the position that the universe, at one point, was absolutely nothing, and then something came because you don't believe that there was nothingness to begin with, right? Yeah, we expanded into matter that was already there. Yeah, the Big Bang so, is good, the, big, good, good. the Big Bang is expanded into matter that was always there. Yeah, let's understand that something. Okay, this something did not begin to exist, did not acquire any properties of existence. So whatever it had, it had it inherently. Okay. Yes. So I... what are the essential qualities of that something, which is the universe, yeah. had inherently as qualities and attributes? But it, it had it had, you know, matter. It had carbon. It had what do we find in so our you universe think today? Matter always existed. Matter, yes. It's existed in the form, in a matter, no, 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 no. in a way. You're, you're talking about matter by looking at this universe. Yes, yes. Uh, so and the universe is before that preceded no, our assuming, one. You're assuming matter existed after Well, you're universe. assuming many things, my friend. So it, that's no, no. like, that's of course matter. Uh, you this, have is my, say, this is my position. You have to say, I assume matter existed. Okay, I assume. I'm fine. Fine, assume. fine, fine. So what, what are the essential things or qualities this universe had inherently? Well, what does it have now? Carbon? What does it? What does it have? What, why? What, what? Like, if you went into the universe and you like took a hypothetical sample from said universe, from where you were in the universe, you would understand what it was at the beginning. And now, actually, you know, six months ago, the James Webb Telescope, we're discovering a lot more about how the universe began. Did it, had, it, did it have internal organization? Internal. That, 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 like, that has no. That has no relevance. Inherent organization. Okay. Okay, it could have done. Did it have laws operating within itself? We, we don't know. We don't, but the thing is, the, the issue of that is that where do we understand those laws to be in the human mind? We perceive those laws. We, you we are try, postulating yes. a universe that always there. Yeah. So this universe, which is always there without a beginning of existence. Yeah. No, I mean. So whatever it has, it has inherently. Yes, it it's has given. inherently. Yes. So yes. But not given. Given. You see that? That's no, you no, making no, an assumption. No, no, I'm saying it's a given fact. Yes. It already had it. Yes. Because no, but my acquire. point, my point, my point before to Ali Dawa is that there's no need. There's no, no, I'm not talking about Ali Dawa. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. I know, I know. God, about this universe. Yes, yes. I know about so this universe. But the idea that inherent, inherent properties that existed. Yeah. Was self-awareness one of them? No. Why, why do you is think that? So? Because why, why, why should it? Be? No, I'm asking you. Why do you think otherwise? Because self-awareness is a human idea. Yes, self-awareness. If, you, if you're not a human, are human you saying some other animals, things cannot be self-aware? Animals. Beings, beings are self-aware. So the universe, the universe so consists don't, don't of make beings. It into a human thing. It's not a okay, but the thing. universe consists of beings. It consists of. Uh, we don't know what it consists of, actually. That's my point. We don't so know. I want to ask you. Yeah. The transformation that happened from one point to another yeah. point. Yeah. Did it happen by accident or by choice? Accident. Why, do you Why say choice? Accident? 
Yeah, but why choice? No, I'm asking why do you, you say choice? I I'm asking say, you now. Did I, ask you, did now, I say anything? But you're assuming that there is choice. No, I didn't say anything. Yes, I know you didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. But the way you're Don't arguing... Don't at my argument. Yes, I didn't say anything. Yes, I know. I know. So I asked you, you said it's by accident. I want to know based on what you say it's accident. Uh, based on the fact that it wasn't... It was based on a deductive argument. On that it wasn't your other thing that you proposed. I haven't proposed anything. Choice. You said, is it based on choice or is it based on no, this? No, no. So inherently, what you're assuming when you're making that argument is that it is based on choice. And I'm saying it's, I'm saying it's don't, not, don't, don't, it's don't, not choice. Don't just try to make the position, the argument to be, make, you know, what's it called? Shifting the, the onus of evidence to, to me, to yes, someone else. But that's what you did. I'm asking you, on what grounds, on what rational grounds yeah. do you say it's accidents? I say that it's because it, it couldn't have happened out of choice. It couldn't have happened. That's not an argument. Yes, so I'm telling you're you, just, listen. You're listen, just listen. simply saying the other option I don't You cut me off with. at the beginning. Go ahead, tell me. Yeah, yeah. Rational argument. Me. Rational argument is that the universe, the way, we, the way we do it, it's clearly like it's too intricate. It's too, we don't know enough for, it, for, for, for us to be able what to ascertain. Intricate, Explain. intricate, complicated. It's expanding. We don't. We probably know 0.5 percent. By random. By, or by, by random. Determination? No, by random. Because how does the universe expand? That's Why? Okay, okay. It's not random. Let me ask you a question. Why does the universe expand? Because it's already within the within the laws operating within what laws? the current or universe. What laws? Physical laws. Okay. Natural laws. Where do those laws come from? Wait, Who wait. discerned those laws? Stop. Alexis or Alexei? Alexei. Alexei. You said random, and I say it's not random because we have constants within our physical yes. laws. Yeah. So that's not randomness. Yes. I'm sure okay. you know what randomness yes, is, yes, right? Yes, 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 yes. I right. do, I do. Right. I say, I say random. I may, I, what I mean by random is that it, its creation wasn't brought about by anything. It wasn't brought about by any that's one not thing. Yes, that's but randomness it comes out of it comes you're out. You're redefining of, terms. Yes, but this right? is how I perceive it within our. your perception. With, we're speaking the human language, which happens to be English. Yes. We need to be yes, we consistent need to, I, I with know. the meaning of the term. I agree, that I agree. That's an right. important thing. So it is not random. Yeah. The universe is operating okay. in certain specific laws that is operational within it. So let's go back again. What is your rational basis to say things transformed from an eternal universe yeah. by accident? By accident, in the sense that it's, it's not something that it couldn't have been designed. It couldn't have been pre-made. That is it. Because what is the opposite of pre what is the op opposite of an accident? What's the opposite of that? Yes, but that's what you're what driving your, me down. You're what driving is your me rational to... basis for it? My rational basis is that it's the opposite of choice. What is your rational basis? Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Don't that... deflect yes. the onus. Yes, I know. Of I'm this telling on you. Me. Yes, right? yes. This is, is it the fallacy you're making. So you are in the defense yeah. as an atheist yeah. to substantiate your particular belief, belief uh, which is. It happened by accident. Yeah, by so we'd like to random, know, random. Accident, I said, accident, or choice, okay. and you said accident. Yes, because I don't, because it's not choice, because you diverted me into this no, no, angle. I, I gave you two options. Yes, two options only. Okay. Yes. Is, is, is there other point. options? Yes. What other options? The are other option is that it it just occurred. It occurred. When you say it just occurred, it what occurred, does it mean? but not by accident. No. It occurred. When you say it just occurs, what does it even mean? Yeah, it occurred for reasons that we don't know. Reasons. Okay. So if it happens by a reason, it's not an accident, is it? Yes. Okay. I understand. Good. I understand. So it either happens by a reason or it just happens. It just so happens. Now, if you say it just happens, it just happens. Why do we need to by ascribe? Reason? Why do we need to ascribe reason? By a reason? Yes, but why do we need wait, to ascribe wait, reason? Wait, wait. Why do we ascribe wait. reason? You're, you're on the right track now. Reason. So why what? do we ascribe it? Wait. Why don't you ask? Oh, you don't answer my question, Alex. When you say it's happened by reason, yeah. is that reason embedded within that universe? I can't answer that question because that's a question that we, we don't need to know. Ask that question. Yes, because that's a question you don't know either, by the way. Like, how again, do you know that? See, it's a question. Few minutes of discussion. My point is, you are committing so much fallacies that you don't know. You tell me what the answer is. No, I am not discussing my position. No, I know. I'm you're, you're asking yours. me. Yes, but my basis, my reason why I'm not, my what, where I began. You've driven me down this lane. I didn't begin I'm here. I'm not driven it. I've cornered you into that position. You've cor cornered yourself. me. Yes, exactly. Yes, but this I'm is not. Yes, the right term. But this is. You in a position yes, yes, to yes. Yourself. But this is not where this I. This is the new paradigm is, shift. I by the way, I the atheist understand. needs to be aware of that. You I know, if you're listening and watching atheists we are coming to get you this is the paradigm shift yes but so you're, now, you've driven me down this way because I'm my my, my basis my basis my basis of what religion is 
of why, why it needs to exist. Why, what I was saying earlier about morality, about the moral necessity, humans need a, a necessary. I forget don't necessarily, humans, listen, listen. Forget morality. No, listen. You are not complaining. No, 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 listen, listen. You've driven me down this You said accident or choice, yeah. yeah? Accident or choice. I don't believe it to be neither. I don't believe it to be a choice, but I don't necessarily believe it to be an accident. But that doesn't mean- Basis of your belief. Yes, my basis of my belief is I don't know. That's not it's Socratic. It's a Socratic. Your, yes, it's no, a very, it's a very accurate. No. no, that's simply your ignorance. My, Just because no, you don't know who, no, no, it's, it's, not, it's not. I don't know who murdered it. It means no one murdered it. No, 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 no. <laughs> you are ignorant. It's not going to help. No, so now let, no, 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 let me reframe, reframe the question. Oh Could God. it be otherwise? The way it's transformed. I don't think so. So it's determined. No, it's not determined. But I don't think okay. so because it's Make up happened. Your mind. Make up your mind. Okay. <laughs> could it be otherwise? Or could it not okay. be otherwise? Okay. It could be any way possible. Yes. So it could the way be any it became way possible, possible, why that particular way? Why? Science. Science, my friend. It's a discussion. No, no, a different I don't understand discussion. what you're talking about. Why it came out why the no, universe no, came no, out to be a certain no, no, way? Why that's purely a scientific way. question. No, no. It's purely a but scientific the question. question. It is. You want to frame it? It's a philosophical question or a moral it's question a, or a scientific question. It used to I'm be a asking you, question. why that way and not the other way? Why? Why specifically? Mm -hmm. uh, because I, I. This is what I'm telling you. Like like Socrates, when he spoke to in the Africans two thousand years ago. I don't. I I like. I ascertain to a certain viewpoint. Because I don't know the reason exactly. I don't know why. When you go to a question and it says, these are the questions, question one to ten. No, but this is answer, very different, my wait, friend. Wait a moment, wait a moment. I'm going to try to give you, put you right on your right shoes, the right box. Okay, the right spot. okay. okay. Well, you answer a question, I don't know. Do you get a mark? To the no. Okay, but wrong answer. okay, okay, okay. Thank but you. But when, when you put questions like open-ended, open-ended questions like yours, do you think on the multiple choice exam that you've now imagined, do you think there will only be two ticks? Choice or accident? Do you think? Ah, but what, what if there's another box? What if there's another box? Tell me which the other box is. The other box is uh, is the other box. We don't need an understanding. Now we don't you're need to get it. Another problem here. No, we don't, we don't need it. It's not important. If you, if you have it's not no important. idea about something, you can't present it as an argument. Exactly. You should be talking about it. No, my yeah? friend. This exactly. is what, this is what I'm telling you. Is look, that we don't need to know. Look, look. We don't need this. If, if, if you believe in a certain scientific yes. paradigm or a philosophical paradigm, yes, yes. you should know that if you cannot talk about something in any meaningful way, you should be talking about it at all. Because this is an escape from saying, I don't yeah. know what it is, but there is an option. Exactly. Yes, but yeah. I, what I'm saying, what I'm saying to you, no, what I'm saying to you is that your beliefs are very... I we, haven't we, talked about my no, beliefs. I know, I know, I know. I am grilling an you the wrong about their beliefs and see how they can no, defend it. No, all I'm saying is where your views come from. Then, I have not expressed my okay, views. Okay. This is okay, your but views. You're not like, you're not like, so Alexis, let me ask you again. So this universe that exists, yes. it, it's now transforming into something else. Because things that are happening, we see transformation. Yeah. Transformation happens, which is either it happens because a predetermined will makes it to happen. To give you a scenario. Okay, no, this is good, this is good. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. hearing your views. I'm Let like, me give you a scenario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I don't will to make coffee or tea in my kitchen, I sit there. All the ingredients of tea and coffee are there yeah. in my kitchen. There is a fridge inside which is the milk. Uh -huh. I have to open to get it out. Yeah. There is a sink I have to unwind the tap to let the water come into the kettle. Put the kettle into the cooker. I have to light the cooker to make fire, flame, heat. Then I have to bring the cups. Then I bring the tea and the coffee. Then I have to mix with milk and sugar, right? If I don't make a choice, if I don't intend, if I don't make a will for this tea to happen, the okay. coffee to be made, yeah. would it ever happen? All I'm saying, what you, this is my point exactly. You're <laughs> equating human logic, human understandings of how the world works, and you're imposing that on the universe. You, I'm you, not no, but you, that's what we you're are saying. We're studying the universe because we are human, exactly. and we can only use human exactly. logic. Exactly. There's nothing no, wrong with it. No, 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 no. If there's this is my point. Wrong with it, there should be no science. This is my point. There's no science. We should be crumbling. Human in logic. Foundation. Human logic. Science, in fact, sorry to interrupt. Science has demonstrated that using human logic, we can understand the universe. No. We no, cannot. no. This is the problem. What Ali, Ali was saying earlier. We cannot. His logic, his contingency argument. What's that on your? What is this? It's a mic. Yes, yes, yes. Wait, wait, let me finish. Wait, 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 okay. wait. This is a mic. Yeah. How did we make that mic and it operation? We produced it within, it the, we produced it within the country or produced yeah. it wherever. Did we use human logic? 
to understand okay. what okay, is this is, uh, this is different. Wave, yes, yes, yes. What is audio? Let what me, is there, there, are two, there are two different there are two different forms of logic that I want to. What the logic we were speaking about? Of course, human logic. Of course, that's that very valid. The logic that the logic that, that uh, Ali Dawood. Yes, Dawa. yes. But, you're, but you're, also, but you're, you're, you're also but you're also doing but you're also doing you're also doing. What am I doing? Is that logic? Automatically, you're assuming you're assuming that how the, our world functions, the idea of a will, the idea of contingency, the idea, the idea that, that have been constructed within our world, and that we understand. That's you're inherently imposing that upon something else. No. Yes, no. because that's your assumption. I'm using yes. human logic to understand the reality around. Me. Yes. So when I use human logic, I do understand, and that's why now we can go up to space and put satellites. But, in okay, there, okay. Because human logic does work. Okay, okay. But understanding the. Let me give you an example. Let me give you. An example. If I jump up. I'm going to jump down back down again. Yeah. That's because of gravity, right? Really? Yeah. No, it's no. because of green flying monsters. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm just saying, this is my point. No, I'm telling you, it's because of invisible green flying monsters. Okay, this is, this is we, because of science. No, we, no. I'm, I'm going to stop you there. I okay. apologize for stopping you there. No, it's let me not, finish my argument. Let me finish I it. I cannot let you finish. You say gravity. What is gravity? Can you see it? Can you feel it? Can you touch it? Can you smell it? Can you sense it? What, so you, you reject gravity? Wait, 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 wait. Now I'm going to ask you and challenge you with this question. You say it's gravity. Out of your five senses, which one did you use to say it's gravity? Like, I'm saying this is not... Listen, let me tell you my point. Let me tell you my point. No, no, no. But let me tell you my point. I'm not finished. Listen, okay, this is my point about your use of logic and applying it to the universe, right? The point is, I, if, I start, if I jump up, I'm going to come down. It doesn't matter where gravity comes from. That's not my point. Where are coming from? No, 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 no. What's okay. describing too? It's my question. Because listen, if you could understand listen. that example, you would understand listen, that there is a God behind listen. this universe. No, listen. This is my point. Okay. When I, when I jump up, I, I go down. When I go to space and I jump, I don't go down. I float. Mm -hmm. Because there are different forces working in the universe. Forces? Yes, listen, listen. There are different... I've seen it. There are diff there's different science in the universe than there is on Earth. And this is exactly the point I've always been making, is that you can't employ logic, um, religious logic on religious Earth. Religious logic? No, no, just logic in general. Logic to understand, logic to understand the universe that's inherently grounded in the human experience. What is you science based on? The science. What are the foundations of science? Science is based on our world. Yeah. Science is our no, no. world. That's a way the of... The science operates within a paradigm. Yes. What are those foundational axioms of science <laughs> that we can understand the world? Because science is what? The knowledge about the world. Science is a mechanism to understand the world, the reality. My point right? is, my so point what is. What are yeah. the foundational axioms of science? You tell me. Is, no, you no, tell me. Please enlighten me. You are saying science. No, and but, logic. but listen, I am not going to listen. Okay, no, 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 listen. I'm just trying to make a point to you. I'm trying to make a point to you. No, that, you okay, no, but listen. No. But listen. What is, what is science when I go, when I. Okay, but. Uh, Stop, like, I'm trying to say, tell you something. When, when I'm in space and I jump, I don't fall back down, do I? Observation. Yeah. So, you observe. Yes. So okay, are you saying okay, science, wait, 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 wait. So how can you sit here and assert that the universe operates in a certain way when all of your understanding, physical understanding of the universe, is grounded within the human experience? The all science, of this logic, all of this idea about science, pens, the pens whole and science, stuff. science, my friend, Alex, yes, is, yes. if you didn't know, is based on this. You observe something specific. Scientific method are you also asking me about? Of course. Okay, then what... Do you believe in the scientific method? Yes, of course. Right. I thought you were talking so, about... so have you observed this kind of jumping about in every point of this Earth and this universe? What? So, okay, I'm saying on Earth right now. You have jump you up... Have you observed on every point of the Earth? I make an assumption based on in a, a lot of experience and a lot of understanding of how on, the world you, works. Have you observed on every single yes. point of the Earth? I mean, I've, I've observed On every enough. single point of the Earth? Okay, so you're telling me there's a part of Earth where I jump up and I go, go up. Yeah? I, don't, I don't go down. Have you I haven't, I haven't. You haven't? Yes, okay. So now, if somebody says, it doesn't matter wherever you go on the Earth, if you jump, you're going to come down again. Is that reasonable? No. It's not reasonable? It's not reasonable. What does science say? Science? Science says... Science say? Yes. What, what you're, you're misconstruing what science is. I'm not misconstruing. You're misconstruing I'm, I'm completely. You no, oh, you're not. Yeah, no, you're not, actually. You're misconstruing it because science is based on logical assumptions made from evidence. Evidence is that gravity is a force that pulls us down to Earth. What are the foundations Earth. of the scientific method again? Observation. Observation? Uh, collecting s samples, like sampling. And then making conclusions based on said making conclusions based on said experiment. Is the very first fundamental out of all of this is the world is rational or irrational? The world 
designs to operate, what is rationality? do we assume... What wait, is rationality? wait a second, you talked about some of the philosophers, now let's see whether they can help you. <laughs> if science did not assume axiomatically that the world is rational, would you be able to understand the world? So science assumes the world is rational. Yes. Science has made so many mistakes anyway. Yes, 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 but rationality, but rationality. So, so, so you accept it? scientific you see, you're, methodology you're, you're connecting two is different things rooted here. in this very foundation that the world is rational, yeah. and we as rational human beings are able to understand it rationally. Yeah. So don't then yes, yes, say my point you are is, a human being using human logic to understand the world because you're being <laughs> unscientific. No, okay, okay, but my point was, my, uh, you completely like, my point was, was that, you know, logic, Logic, where we, where we derive our understandings of logic is from experience. It's from experience, like day to day. No. Like the different examples that you make. Not true. Okay, okay, okay. Well, not true, fine, not whatever. True. Uh, let me tell you what, why it's Okay, not okay, true. Well, let me finish. It's let me finish for, for once. Let Go me ahead. talk. Go ahead, Alexis. Let me finish. And I'll tell you why. Okay. Where, like, like where we, get, we, we understand logic to be a certain thing. We understand it to be whatever it is. We understand it, we as collectively as humans, we come to certain, you know, certain unified definitions about what logic is. But how can we then assume that we use our logic, we, are, we use our logic needing for contingency, needing for explanations, needing for this. How can we then we can zoom out and then do it on our, our whole world? Because our world, I'm saying I, we don't know how it, we don't know how the universe operates. So there is no reason to misconstrue our understandings of logic and place that on, on the universe. Because those two things was are it, not was connected. It, was, it, was it logical to say there's a cyclical universe or multiverse, or is it based on evidence? No, it's not. I mean, it's... What's it based on? It's based on assumptions. Assumption is based on what? Assumption is based on evidence. What evidence do we have of a multiverse? No, I mean, the multiverse not specifically, no. I'm not and saying there is a multiverse. what evidence do you have there was another universe before No, no, well, I do, scientifically. My grandfather. My, gran my grandfather. He's what? A, he's a big Does scientist. your grandfather have evidence there was another universe before this one? Yeah, he does. I mean, I, I, he showed, like, he talked to me. This is his. My, my, my theory is about the universe. My theory is about. I, I, Are you I, a physicist? I, I argue. Are you a physicist? No. Cosmologist? No. Do you have a PhD? Undergraduate degree in any of those subjects? No. Expertise? No. So it's sort of like your assumption, your theories, they don't count because you're not specialist. Okay, do you have your, a PhD? Your grandfather is. Okay. No, no, your grandfather is. Yeah, he is. Has your grandfather published works that I can read and assess yep. and critically evaluate yep. that there is an evidence for a, yep. a universe before this universe? I can send you them, yeah? yeah? I can show if I could type his name in for you. Wait, if you want. Well, yeah, go ahead. Yeah? Let me write it down. Okay. Go ahead. No problem. This is where, yeah, yeah. It's like this guy and... Did he win a Nobel Prize yet? Oh, he hasn't, sadly. But he, he's, 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 he's doing great things. He's doing great things. I, I respect him a lot. No problem. Yes, yes. So, I mean, I, this is I can what I mean. I can look it up. So, now, coming back to the question yeah. of logic. Yeah. If logic wasn't used to understand our reality, yeah. then science would have been crumbled from the very yes, start. Yes, no, I get that. I understand so what you're arguing So we can from. use logic. Yes. So when it comes to understanding the very beginning of the universe, yes, yes. No, I... don't just stop and say we can't use logic. Right? I agree with that. So yeah. I agree. Right. I agree that logic does play a role. Now, let's come back to my example of tea and coffee, right? Shall we? Mm. Would it ever make tea and coffee if I just sit there and wait for tea to happen? No. Why not? Because you need to put things into so, motion. So to make transformation of existing yes, things, yes, yes, yes. like the universe has things within it. You said matter. Yeah. So to make transformation, you need some kind of intent of You need a mover. I get what, you, you I get what you're trying mover. to, yeah. Right. So even to make tea and coffee, you need a willing agent. Yeah. Yes, I completely agree. So I want to know, on what rational basis do you then Looking at this, understanding it logically and rationally, yeah. and accepting it, yeah. the universe in its pre-current state, yeah. in its eternal yeah, state yeah, of transformation, yeah, yeah. it just happened without yes, I know, any, I know. Without any we're, we're, we're willing, willing mover. Yeah. Yes. Uh, my response to my response to you is that I don't think that the, the, the universe necessarily needs a willing mover. I don't need necessarily a mover to make a cup of tea. But you need to you need to do it though, don't no. you? No. Yes. Okay. I'm using the same argument. Yes, Be yes. consistent. If yes, you the same argument, but this is a different. This is it's two different. different things. Thank you. Why is it different? We want to transform something. You either need a willing mover or you don't. So if you can say a cup of tea can happen without a willing mover, then you're being consistent. No, I know, I know, I know. But you're, this is you what have I mean. To be consistent. This is what you I mean. Have to. Yes, yes. But this is what I mean, like. We have a willing mover on Earth. 
you, on earth, on earth, as, as you make that tea, you know, you go to the kettle, you boil the water, and then you put the tea bag in, and you've made your tea, you've got your tea there. But what I'm saying is that when, when we zoom out, and we, we, when we actually try and think about what began our own universe, I don't think the same laws apply. Because I don't think they, I don't think, I think, uh, like, in, inherently on earth, certain things occur the way they do. But I think that's because earth is special. I think Earth is not. I think Earth is unique in, so in our world. I can't make a cup of tea on Mars. No, I mean you can. Like within, if you're, but so not, if, if, you, if you stand on Mars, Mars okay, if you stand on Mars with no, no, nothing. I, I want to eliminate these variables. One of the variables you introduce is the Earth. Let's say if I go to Mars and I have a kitchen there, yep. and I sit there with the tea still happen or a cup of coffee. You'd probably be dead. Like if if you you have to you have to use look, look. you have to use Earth you have to use Earth like Earth. things. I don't need yes, Earth. but you need. I am going to have a spaceship there. What do you need? On Mars. Spaceship. Landing. Where did the spaceship come? From? Where was it built? So? Where, where, where was it built? Where it came from Earth, didn't it? So what? Yes, but that you can't just go to Mars. Let's say Mars has got nothing on it. You come with no spacesuit, with nothing that's come from Earth and that's allowed you to live on Mars well, and come and make it. Yeah. You borrowed an alien space. Okay, okay, fine. But okay, <laughs> yeah, this is it. You're, you're complicating the, the thing now. But yes, yes, yes. But I'm saying that when you go to Mars, let's say you go to Mars with nothing. You stand on Mars, you'd already be dead before you make the cup of coffee no. or the cup of tea. So, you see, look. If you are going to be consistent, you should say that to make a cup of tea in this kind of organizational transformation, you need a willing mover. Yes. And you need to be consistent with that. Like gravity, scientists would say, gravity exists in all parts of our Earth, even though we haven't measured everything. Yeah. So science, as you haven't realized already, is exactly. based on generalization. It's based, based on generalization. I agree. I agree. Right? And we draw, we draw conclusions. Likewise, when we use the scientific method in understanding the reality, I haven't used anything different from the scientific no, method. No, I know. I'm saying the universe. Yes. Transformation. You need a willing mover. So I have not committed any logical fallacy. No, no, I agree. I'm being consistent. I agree. You need to provide a rational I'm alternative saying, I'm saying. if you believe that it can happen by itself. I'm saying, I'm saying that the, the need, the need to find out, this is, goes back to very much what I'm saying at the beginning. The need to find out, the need like why why do you need what like honest question why do you need to believe that something began something I don't need to that, believe no it no but why 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 do you believe that why do you believe that not surely not because you want to make a cup of tea in the morning to, to give nope. you if you answer this question it's not that i need to believe in something yes if a tree existed there independent of my believing it exists or not there it will exist in reality yeah so my belief is irrelevant yes. more importantly he believes it himself yeah. Yeah, it's irrelevant what I, I believe you or not. No, I know. So if I think, oh, that tree doesn't exist, I may be wrong, I may be right, but independent of my belief system, it can exist if it existed. Yeah. Likewise, if there is a reality in which there is a willing mover yes, of yes. transformation, it doesn't matter whether I need to believe in it or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, the but fact of the matter is, we need to affirm that's the case. Of I get, it's I the get case that. of affirmation. I get that. I get that. Now, and I, is it is it irrational to affirm that you need a willing mover? It's not irrational. It's not irrational. Right. So my stance now, even though I haven't expressed it, exactly. is a rational position. What's your rational position? My rational position is that you do not need to find that. I, we, we you don't. No, no, no. But listen. But no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. My, my, my thing is that like the universe. It, there's the idea of a willing mover, the idea of something that's pushing, the idea that something begins somewhere, it comes out of humanity. It comes out of humanity's own attempt to understand itself. No. Yes, it does. It, Why do you disagree? So the problem, the, the, you've made some really strange statements when I was listening to this, this change, okay? So you, you seem to do away with logic. You said that there's human logic. No, there's, two, there's, there's two faucets of logic. Yeah. And you can't use human experience or logic to come up with anything. Then you, that puts to bed science, the scientific method, even the conversation you're having, even the, how your vape is working. All of this is, goes out the window. Yeah, this. yeah. No, I, I get that. And now, I get that. The, the only argument you seem to be making at the end, because you admitted that for things to happen, there needs to be a willing movie. No, I didn't. You, you didn't? No, no, no. I, no. He said that. I'm saying my very point. For the tea to be made in the kitchen, you don't Yes, need a but I'm movie. saying that you cannot equate the tea in the kitchen to the creation of the universe so why, why it's, why because it? that is inherently grounded in the human experience it's not grounded within something that we don't even understand yeah. and to be able to understand that we would need maybe thousands maybe hundreds of years of more scientific research you're not understanding something yes and i don't want to make conclusions about it and i not understanding something 
Uh, you can still rationalize the possibilities yes. of how something could happen. And this is where religion comes from. No, no, hold on a second. So it could either be a material cause or an immaterial one. Yeah. Could there be any other cause? Of the universe? Yes. Either material or immaterial. Right. I'd say... Is there any other? No, I'd say, I'd say, I mean, I'd say it was material. Material? Yeah. So if there is a material cause, what is the cause of that material cause? Another material cause? It, it is, it's, it's strung up, it's strung up within a web, within a web of like different... Di 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 yes. Okay. But the cause, but causation, the idea of causation. Yes. It's something very different to what, like, the way I perceive the universe to have begun, the way I perceive it, it's, we are very lucky. You, you can't use your conception. You said material cause. Right? Yes, yeah. Can there be an infinite series of material causes? Perhaps, yes. Can you, Perhaps. Tra can you traverse? I can't. Can you traverse an infinite number of steps to get to this step? No. No. So they can't be infinite. infinite. The idea of the problem of infinite. Yes, and this is what we came across before. But the idea of it, the idea of the uh, us uh, not being able to understand infinity. Hold on a second. An infinite series. That means you can't count them. No. Count, they're beyond counting. Can you ever traverse an infinite number of steps to get to this step? No. Us talking. No. No. So but therefore, we never know you could do that in the brother, universe. Brother, hold on a second. So therefore, it can't be an infinite number of steps. Yes. It has to be finite. Okay. So when something is finite, mm -hmm. it requires a beginning of everything. Yeah. Now that beginning of everything. Exactly. Is it material or immaterial? The beginning of everything. Yes. I say it's well. Inherently, it has to be material. Why? It has to be because we are we are we are our world is consisting of. Of, of gases, of chemicals. Why does it have to be material? Because we, we live here, we live and, in this world. And is that dependent or independent? Independent. Independent. Yeah. I don't think it's dependent so, on anything. So it exists? It exists for the very... Without explanation? It exists, but we haven't found the explanation no, no. yet. But no, no, it That's exists without any explanation of its existence? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And you've come to that conclusion how? Through, through being... We're actually understanding that I can't tell you the beginning of the universe, and I and I I, I thought about this a lot because I can't I, I can't sit here and I, and I thought about it, you know, because it's 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 insane, you know, like we we live in a universe filled with intricate planets, stars, galaxies. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm telling. I'm just this is how I'm telling you. So we we live in this world. It's very much unexplainable to us where it began from. We have this idea of the Big Bang. We have this, it's, it's like, to non-scientists, to people that don't specialize in it, it's quite difficult to conceptualize. It's quite difficult to understand. So what my conclusion is, is that we don't need to understand that. We can make our own, we, we, we define our reality in our own way. We I must, you, yeah, that's my, where I came back to, to my I conclusion. You, why yeah. does it have to be material? Why does it have to be material? material? It has to be because we are physically made out of, about the material existence. It means that there are, there is this, this matter. Yeah, but the, what, but the explanation for matter does not necessarily necessitate that the underlying cause of everything itself, the the, the beginning of everything, the, the necessary cause of everything itself has to be material. I'm asking you why you're insisting upon that and not saying that it could be material or immaterial. I'm wondering why you're missing out the possibility of immaterial. Yeah. That's why No, I'm I get you, I get you, yeah. No, because I mean I believe that's not being up. Yeah. If you said I don't know, yeah. then what you would have to argue is that well I don't know it could be immaterial. It could be, yes. Could be this material. is my point. This is my no, point. No, no, no. You said it I said, yeah, be, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I make I made a mistake there. Okay. I made a mistake there so, in my okay. But what I do say, what I do that's say right. is that we we don't we don't need to know. Now, now, now listen yeah. to what I'm going to say yeah, to you yeah, now. Okay. If it can be immaterial or it is material, yeah. either one of the two, mm -hmm. we have to then assert our logic and our reason to see which one seems more reasonable, yes, right? Yes, yes. Based upon the evidence, right? Yes, yes, based upon evidence. Now, if it's yep. material, what qualities must this material thing possess to bring things into existence? Knowledge, will, power, all of these things. Right? Yes. Which matter doesn't have the part of its yeah. no, I understand this. this is, I know, okay. I know, I understand so the argument. So now you have yeah. to ask the question. No, I'm not trying what? to corner you. No. All, I, all I'm trying to do to you, brother, is this. You just think about these things with a level of neutrality, because you've said you don't know. 
And all I'm saying, I'm saying that there's no need to know. No, but what I'm saying to you also is this: have an open mind. Okay. When something seems reasonable, at least say, you know what, that sounds quite reasonable. Yeah, yeah. Now you've agreed. Now we agree that, that if it's material, it needs consciousness, immense power, knowledge. Yeah. To a level that you or I, we can't even comprehend. Yes, yes. Yeah, we don't know and we don't need the to. The laws of physics, the yes, DNA. Yes, exactly. Why do you keep saying we don't need no. to? We don't need to because what, that, why? Why? why is because the because my whole idea about like religion, like I, I personally, yours, that's yes, 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 now, yes. Okay, that, okay. Desmond, that's before subjective. We get, before we get to that, okay, I, I mean, before we get to that, now you have so a material cause, oh, consciousness, power, yes. a will, a will. Yes, but where does that come from, though? No, no, hold on a second. Yeah. Hold on a second. <laughs> now that to me does not look like a uh, a non, let's say, um, conscious, intelligent um, cause of everything. Yeah. It sounds a lot like what religious folk would say to you is the creator. I know, I know. So what I'm asking this you, is, brother, is this. Yeah. Why don't you at least acknowledge that that's a reasonable possibility? Okay. And in fact, it seems more reasonable, it seems more reasonable it's okay, it's okay. than just a material I cause completely. that existed infinitely I can, I, without anything bringing that existence into existence no, my, my friend, yeah, yeah. and the supernatural cause yes seems more reasonable exactly i understand this with this yes no i understand that. i completely you know i i personally i personally like i i, I grew up in, in a muslim country and i was very exposed to you know in dubai yes yes so i spent half my life in dubai and i i you know i all my all of my good friends are muslims and i i love islam as a, as a religion and i i, I really accepted that I, I, I love it i love it my, my, my father my father's is an islamic specialist and your father's an islamic specialist yeah yeah islamic islamic banking okay so but but uh, this is uh, this is why and i i thought about this idea for a very long time but the idea like it provides comfort the idea of a creator is comforting it's comfort, but, brother, but, but it is, but brother, it is and in the sense, okay. in the sense, of what, what is exactly of what you were saying? Can something Bec true, can something that is the reality and is true, give you comfort? But we, yeah, it, of course it yes. can, of course so, it can. So, but that doesn't mean no, but what you're. Yeah. But, uh, act, but having comfort from something, yes, and I accept Islam gives me a lot of comfort. Yes, exactly, yeah. But that does not falsify Islam. No, I know because it because Islam could be true. Exactly, and yeah. I could be attaining comfort from something that is from, true. From the truth, yeah. So it doesn't rationally mean that just because some people get comfort from religion, therefore God is false or religion is false. Yes, no, no. But my my grounding of it, my grounding of religion is more historical. This is why I'm I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not uh, as you know as edu as educated as you are, gentlemen, on on these ideas of you know continuously. I I've read up about it, but I'm more of I I denounce religion on bounds of, of on history. On, on purely on history okay, no, and where religion this is well this is where i can this is where so my it's not, it's not, my it's, it's, not, it's, it's not your critical rational thinking about the philosophical yes it's more so it, it's it's exactly to do with your history your, my, exactly. yeah okay so basically obviously not just islam by the way fact, all religion fine, fine. Yeah. in fact you're much much closer in accepting the truth than many other people i'll tell you why because you have no philosophical objection, rational objection, reasonable intellectual objection that it could be that there is a yeah, creator this is not, with all the qualities. But this is where my... my, yeah, yeah. my okay, but can I, can, I, can I say something? But, but my, like, my understanding of... Of course, I've, you know, I've, I've watched a few of these videos and, I, and, I come, and I've come across these ideas and come across like, these ideas of where, 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 uh, where does religion come from? It comes from, you know, our ideas about... Like, like we were speaking for the last 40 minutes. But my own objections come from, come from as I'm, I'm, a, I'm a history student. So I, I understand history and I, I have my own perception of history. And religion, my understanding, my, my his, through, through history, that's pos positive. That's what's made me an atheist. My historical, my historical research, my histor that's what's made me an atheist. Not, not about questions about the universe, because frankly, like when, when you were questioning about me, I just don't, I just don't really care about it. I don't really think about it. That's not, on that, that's not the grounds on which I denounce religion. On. I denounce it on is if you do, if you look at religion historically, and if you look at the effect it's had historically, it's clearly served a geopolitical purpose. It's clearly served a, a purpose that's above religion, and it's very much what I think the greatest, the greatest sin of Europe, the greatest mistake it's ever committed is, is elevating Christianity to the position it has now. 
it's slowed down human progress, it's slowed down Europe's progress, maybe 600, 700 years. The, the, the Muslims understood that in the Golden Age, you know, the Golden Age of Islam, right? Following, uh, following you know, the moving of the capital from, from Damascus to Baghdad and creating an absolutely cultural center. They, they accepted, they used religion in a way, but they also accepted knowledge. They accepted new thoughts, they accepted debates, they accepted... But that's Islam. <coughs> that's Islam, yes. What Christianity didn't we're do. Not, okay, we're, not, we're not Christians. No, 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 no. I'm talking about religion in general. A question on this, right? Yeah. <laughs> Suppose now, because you have the options, like, it's reasonable to believe that there is an intelligent, self aware, conscious, willing creator of the cosmos. Um, as a possibility. Yeah. Now suppose there is, and this creator interacted with human beings how to live their life with a purpose. Mm -hmm. How would it be otherwise from what it's now? But how would it be otherwise? Yeah. Like well, what, with the religious... Because you're saying, yeah. because of what I see in history, yeah. it somehow disproves there's a creator. So I wonder how would it be otherwise? What do you mean that? Like how would the... Like suppose there was a creator, yeah. so you would expect the human history to be like what? If there was a creator, yeah. Then, you know, then there would be one religion, first of all. There would be one religion. There wouldn't Why? be the mul multiplicity that we have today. Religion? Because if there, was a, if there really was a creator, then there would be one, there would be one cult, one sect that let follows... Me, let me them. just put some um, spices in there. Yeah. So God created us with critical thinking, with our intellect, with a choice to agree or disagree. Mm -hmm. So he puts people to agree and disagree, and you're expecting God without forcing everyone the all human beings will agree with one thing no but i'm saying that if there was that humans would humans would come together and they would they How would, would they, they would agree on, on the same thing exactly but that's that's the very perp that's the very this is the, this is the if, very if, idea of what at, religion look at, is look at the data set so there is a creator who yeah. created human beings with a choice yeah no i'm saying they okay can, if there was a creator yeah. and, the, and the, let's say and there was let's say the let's world. say let's say the like all of the all of what we're talking about you know the, there was a creator he created our world he did this he did that then humans would like it, it, we wouldn't necessarily see much of a difference now, how would there be one religion i want to understand one religion because that would be the creator would, would have willed it surely the creator would, would have the creator would have been above humanity look, firstly look look at the look at my premises the creator creates human beings with a choice yeah. that means i can agree and you can disagree yes, yes, right? of course. that's what it means yes. different kind of will yes given there that, would be atheists in the given world that faculty how are you postulating yes, this, no, I get that, that. I get there will that. be one religion? No, if you're, if you're, if that's how you're defining what, you know, what, how God creates the world, then that's, you know, that, that that's, that's, but, but let me tell you, like, why, like, really what my thoughts are, why, why I don't But do you agree. understand that? Yes, I do, Your I completely agree. study of history yeah. is based on perhaps a false premise in which human beings are forced to agree on everything. They're not forced. This is my point. They're not forced. What what it has done is it's religion has become politics. What listen? To me. Just religion. One okay. If human beings have this choice involved, yeah. how is it possible all of them can agree? None of the Greek philosophers agree on the same thing. They're forced. Forced. It's like Christianity. If you look at what forced Christianity by is, by the by the by the church. By, by, okay. 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 Islam. No. 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 I'm talking about religion in general. Religion in general. Okay. Islam as well. Okay. Can some teaching, forget religion, I'm talking about good teaching, yeah. be deliberately misconstrued, misinterpreted and corrupted by human beings? Yeah. Does that mean the teaching is wrong? No. It, that's, but that's not the argument. So my argument. Is, no, you no. said one religion. What, what is your argument? So that's my my argument. No, no, no. I, I understand, yeah. yeah. When you make a premise, think it through. Yes, I know, I get it. It's got to be logical. Yes, yes. So, for example, Islam could be true, but if I don't follow Islam, even though I claim that I'm following Islam and I do bad things, yeah. does that make Islam false or does that make me a bad person? It depends on the, but like, what wrong and right. If I'm not following Islam and yeah. I do bad things, yeah. does that make Islam false or me a bad person? It makes you a bad person. So this is, yeah. this, look, exactly. this is, this is logic. Right? That's so logic, all, yes. You, look, all we're saying to you, brother, is this. You've already agreed that there is a reasonable possibility of there being a creator. When Surah just basically said to you, how would you know if this creator has uh, uh, ordained for you guidance, given guidance to you? Yeah. I would say what's rational is that 
who are making this claim? Yeah. And then they're saying that, oh, the Bible is from God, they're saying the Torah is from God, the Hindu scriptures are from God, the Islamic scripture, the Quran is from God. Allah has given you a faculty to reason, yes, yes. to investigate. So use that reason yes. and investigate. Yes, and that's just my And then, just as the brother here, the brother here, myself, you know, often being born in this country, have researched Islam, researched the Quran, to verify for ourselves. Does the weight of evidence uh, give us a compelling, heavy weighted argument for its divine cause, yep. divine origin, or is it, as you say, just something that people thought up? Yeah, no, but they but, did. But, but the point here is this. And what with very good you, reason, my friend. have you investigated about the Quran? The Quran? Because, uh, because the because Quran... You, because you've nullified it by saying that. What have you investigated? No, I'll tell you exactly that. The Quran itself, it came out of... You know, if you look at if you look at where Islam started, you know, you look at Medina, you look at Mecca. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. So Medina and Mecca, right? They, look, you know, they were without Islam, without uh, this unifier, without this idea of a an entity that's above these tribes, you know, these, these herdsmen that were completely incoherent. What did this, what did Muhammad come? Muhammad came and and he, yeah, peace be upon him, of course. Like he came and he unified, he unified the people because he gave exactly your reason. But because uh, but no, no, no. Listen, listen, I know, I know. I'm telling you. So that's but, one uh, no, of no, no, motives. No, no. We can examine what that. motives. Yes, yeah, yeah. Is that when like it gave people a reason to live, a reason above and beyond themselves, above and beyond their their, their like a reason, to live. reason, a reason to live. Motive. Yes, yes. These things and and it unified. It unified the people. The I, asked I know. I Let's asked you. I asked you. I have motives. Just, I, not, if you go through the motives, but I asked you because you nullified the Quran yeah. by claiming some historical things. Yeah. I'm asking you critically. How did you nullify the Quran itself I, by I, studying it? It makes lots of claims. Yes. Had this book come from anyone other than your Lord, surely you would have found within it many contradictions or errors. Have you found any contradictions or errors in the Quran? No, no. Have you studied the Quran? I haven't studied it properly, but so, I have, I've, I've read, so I read, I read through. I would yes. humbly suggest to you. Yeah. I would humbly suggest to you. It claims to be from the Creator, and it gives you a criteria, a falsification test exactly. of how it might not be from the Creator. At least apply that test. At least do that investigation. Then if you want to nullify it based upon evidence, say these are the reasons I have studied and I, therefore I nullify the yeah, yeah. No, we, can, we can have that discussion. I know, I, no, I, I, I agree with that. What but I would, it's just, what the, I would it, urge you to do is don't look at peripheral issues attributing your own interpretation of why they might have happened and then nullifying the Quran. That's not sensible. No, no, but I didn't... I, Do you agree? I, yes, I agree. Okay. I agree, but I'm just telling you my interpretation of why I... I'd like Dr. Imran to say something. Right, I've been no. saying too much. No, no, no. I, I just... This is my interpretation of why I think... No, they're not just Judaism, Christianity and Islam. Because they are very... They, they've come up and, you know, um, like Christianity and Islam, they have their similarities, you know. They have their... They, in the way that they've developed as entities. Because just as with Islam, Islam, you know, it... it it's, Came, it brought a mass of people together under a very good cause, under a very powerful cause. And un intellect. Okay, wait. If intellectual. Islam true, if Islam was true, yeah. or is true, would you expect that cause that you've just discussed, a unifying cause, a cause of bringing everybody together? It would be true as well. Right? Uh, it would be true as so well. So now we have a massive so, issue there. So, 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 so now the issue here is. Yes, I know. This even is the, if this Islam is the, true. Arguing against. That's what would you're happen. Arguing for the same time. No. Because if Islam was true. Yes. You would not if, 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 to, if, to if this is a people. big if, though. No, but that's but the point I'm trying my, to make. No, yeah. no, but the point I'm trying to make to you is, you're using an evidence of what happened to the people against Islam, and I'm trying to explain to you logically. It could be used. That yes. If Islam was true. That is yeah. exactly what you would expect. Yes, to but, but, but but my 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 assumption is that by inherently studying that. It actually posits the opposite. No, how can you do that? But I'm just, it posits just, the opposite. You just though. agreed to me that yes. Islam was true. No, I, true. I know, I know, but that's a that big assumption that you've made there. If if no, no, if it's true. No, but you're giving a logical. Uh, you're giving a logical reasoning uh, as a premise and a conclusion. You're saying because it unified everybody together. Yeah. Therefore, Islam is false. No, not just this not is just because of that. Just the not just because of that. 
because of many reasons. Because it gave purpose, because it gave this, because of this. Because, but, but if the but religion, that doesn't is, mean, but if that the doesn't religion is true, that's what you would expect to happen. Of course, of so, course so, it's so true, yes, yes, of course. That concept can't validate I know, or I know. disprove Islam. But, it, but within my like understanding of how, you know, of... I think the, the anyway, question is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, can, we can ask Dr. Imran on this question. Because you are looking at the historical milieu and you're thinking, this is a development, a cultural development, yes. and it's been somehow religionized. Okay, it's made been it politicized. Into, yes. Politicized. Now, so because of this kind of approach in history, you have to identify motives which you are doing. Yeah. We can examine those motives and see whether they're actually valid or not. I agree. Or not. I agree. So, the motives we've had so far is unification of the people. Yep. And when we talk about people, we're talking about the Arabs, yep. we're talking about the Jews, and we're talking about the Christians. Other Christians, The yep. polytheists, the Jews and the Christians, and people may not have some beliefs and so on. Some of them may be inclined to monotheism, whatever. These are the broad four categories of people. Yep. There might be other Sabians, Flower worshippers, and so on, right? And we heard about something else you said. What was the second thing? This is what is the unification? Put people together, get the meaning, purpose. 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 Yeah. Giving, them, giving them a purpose. Yeah. Let's deal with unification. Okay. How does that tally with the teaching of the Quran, when it talks about different tribes, Christian things and so on? Does it really give us a true picture of this is how it's uniting? Or is it actually doing the opposite? So you'd expect a religion, if it were true, to unite the people? Yeah. You'd expect a religion, if it were true, to give people purpose? Yeah. So the observations that you're making that you're then using to say the religion isn't true. I understand. Are the same no. observations that you're I understand that. What well, I understand the why you're why, the, the reasons. Yeah. So you don't understand why the brothers are saying that your objections. Don't exactly. Make I, I, I was agree. going to talk about rather the motives. Well, let me hit him yeah. to them. And for example, if I was to unite the Arabs, right? Yeah. Imagine now I want I want to unite the Arabs. Yeah. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to start praising them and what they dear, hold the most dear to them. Absolutely. So they hold the dearest to them is idolatry, idolatry praising the idols. So I, to unite them, what I need to do is not to curse their idols, not curse, to destroy their idols and saying they're not worthy of worship. I should say, wow, this idol is so great and that's so great. Imagine I'm praising your idol and your idol. So you're with me now. Yeah. You're with me now. So I'm uniting all of them. So instead of doing that, what Prophet Muhammad did, he says, none of them are worthy of worship. So he is disuniting the Arabs. In fact, this is what happened. His whole community was abandoning him. His whole family is abandoning him. So we don't see, even from his own community, Arabs, they're being united. What about how he talked about the Jewish people? He talked about how Maryam, for example, Allah chose as the best of all the women. Imagine telling that to an Arab. Yeah. Oh, that Jewish woman? She is the most pious, most best of all the women. Elevated above, elevated above all, the all the women of the world. How is that going to unite the Arabs? It's not. Or the nobility. Yeah. Now right. let's talk about the how rich. it's uniting the, the Christians. It says Christ wasn't crucified. Christ is not God. He's not son of God. In fact, when you say he's the son of God, the universe is about to shatter and destroy itself. The earth is about to split. Okay. So do not how, say three. Do, don't this say three. How is it uniting the Christians by destroying their core belief and disagreeing with their core belief? It's not uniting the Christians either. Jewish My, yeah. If you think about it, no, no. how the Quran criticized the Jewish people and what they did. So, so when we look at the motive question, okay. this is not so the you don't best think, way. So you don't think Islam was a, a very good unifier? No, 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 so what I'm saying is, if you put the motive as unification of yes, people, yes. the Quran shows otherwise. It's not unifying as you expect. Yes. That means that wasn't the motive. The motive is establishing the truth. Okay. Because the truth okay. may be against but, but one, their one needs to look at the evidence though, the empirical evidence for it. And what did it do, Islam? Okay, uh, first, uh, as you mentioned, you know, Muhammad They united left. because of the truth. Not an empirical uh, evidence. Not empirical because evidence. Of, empirical what, evidence of what happened. What? That's not of, empirical of, evidence, is it? Uh, empirical. Empirical. Of events that happened. Empiricism is absolute, right? Yes, it's okay. exactly what, what happened. Absolute evidence are you going to provide? Um, of that it unified the people and d quite, quite literally destroyed two empires. Unification didn't happen because of this. Unification happened because they recognized the truth. Okay. okay. Yeah? That's, that's, that's a different caveat. interpretation. No, no, yeah. no, logically, you've already accepted. That is something when you study the yeah. history, you'll realize actually it didn't unite the people in their tribal unification. It disunited them. So what united them is they abandoned the, the, this, this relationship between brother and sister 
even though their lineage and they united with someone else of a faith because yeah. they accepted that this is true yeah. this didn't work so it's not a motive of you see, we, we are historically analyzing a motive of a, a fake individual claims to be from God what about purpose what was his purpose was he a moral reformer was he trying to reform the society maybe was that, uh, I, I agree that I agree yeah. but look at the way he's reforming if he's reforming morality, why is he talking about, look at the universe, how is the, the universe is expanding? Because why that gives it? reason, that in itself is a unifier. Because how that's else do you moral, understand? No, because, that's because, not a moral reformation. Yes, I think you know it's, what it is, it's, Mansoor? It's, it's the what? point that Imran just made as well to you is that you're already in agreement that something being true, you would also No, it's expect, a very good point he made. You would yeah. also expect it to unify the people. Yeah. So let's, that point doesn't apply now. So what's your other point? My point is that if you study, if you look at Islam, if you look at Christianity, if you look at, if you look at the Jews, okay. these beliefs, these ideas, they did not come out of a vacuum. They came out of being many years under, under persecution from two empires. From two empires that were themselves ideologically founded on, you know, it was the Byzantines, which was Christianity, and it was the Sassanids in Iran, which had their own Zaratustrian religion, which, which, which was founded upon, which, you know, which is idolatry, which is what Muhammad hates. Can, you know, somebody, and, who, can and, somebody who's on the right path... But well, what is the alternative? Can, can somebody who's on the right path suffer great persecution? Well, yeah. so that doesn't that's apply. Not either. Argument either. So what's your other argument? No, what? no, no, no. I'm, that my, my, that's not connected. I'm saying, I'm saying what the argument was was that Islam did not grow out of a vacuum. It grew out of being being oppressed, be, being a, a nation, being a, a part of the world. How were the Arabs oppressed when Islam came? To them? They, they were they were inherently well, you know by by both forces they were in between. The Byzantines no. and the Persians were not in control not of the region. No, but they were. They, but what? Yes, but uh, Muhammad came and conquered their own territory, oh, destroyed their own. Yes, yes. This is my point. This is my point where empirical evidence is used. No, 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 no. I do. What you've done is. You've taken something afterwards that the Muslims conquered the, yes, the Romans yes. and they conquered the back. Yeah. The, the yeah, I know, it's, it's prior to... So you're, you're saying that, that that event proves that why the religion started, but you're talking about something that 20 was... 20 years plus after. Yes, I know, I know. 22 years later than yes. from the start. From the, from the start, exactly. So, so you, but it started, it started, start. but I'm saying, I'm saying that I, I believe Muhammad was a great warrior. And he was a great, he was a great, he was a great uh, strategist. And I believe that he wanted to use Islam. Where did he used to say that? Because he won so many battles. He won battles after yes, Islam. Yes, yes, after Islam. Not, but but so he used Islam to yeah, win those battles. Yeah, where did he get Islam from? Because he, he, so until the age of 40, the Prophet peace upon him wasn't. No, I know, I know. So, so, so where did you need to explain the start. Where does he become a great stra strategist when it comes to war, to, de to defeat the Persians and the, and the Byzantines? And the Byzantines. Yeah. Yeah. Where did he get all these strategies who, from? Who was his teacher? Teachers. Who, who, Muhammad's teacher? I don't, in terms of law, ethics, morality, science, in terms of every aspect of life that we, we don't know that, of strategies of war. No, we don't know that. No, we now have a big problem. We need to understand where did he get this information from. So when the Quran says, was Samayu of Tariq, knocking, knocking stars, piercing bright knocking stars. Now, he didn't have to talk about it because he didn't have the telescopes to, to know about them. But now we know there are stars which are pulsating stars, right? Mm -hmm. And they make these kind of sounds. Yeah. How did he know that? Neither the Greeks, or the Romans, or the Indian Hindus, civilization, Chinese, no one knew them. How is he firstly talking about things which no one talked about, and no one could have talked about, and yet now we realize that this information is actually quite interesting. No, that, but that is a faucet. That's a faucet of Islam that I don't, that I don't, uh, that I don't necessarily like I have. Like, like I said, I don't, I don't, Criticize Islam on that level. I criticize it more so. Where did you get that information from? It's, it's a That's good. That, that I know. I know it's a Russian question. So and I now, can't tell you. I can't good, tell you that. No problem. So suppose now we give you question. I mean, example after example after example. You realize you need a submarine. You need an electronic microscope. You need a telescope. You need a spaceship. All of these technological tools that are of the modern well, day. Well, I would say you need it. You would still say. No, no. What I would say. Part. What I would say is that. There was a lot that before Islam, before anything, when the Greeks were here, there was the beautiful library of Alexandria. 
a great library of Alexandria and it was birds. No, you're, you're no, 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 listen, 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 listen. You, I'm connecting things, I'm connecting things. When, which, I do think that which, there was that which knowledge existed. library of Alexandria and when was it burnt? Are you talking about post-Islamic? Uh, pre, 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 pre-Islamic. Way, pre way before, 200 and, BC, and it was burnt. Okay. And it, was, it was burnt and what I'm saying is that knowledge that there was actually, now, now as historians we can understand that what they were talking about and what they were, what they was actually far far advanced than even what they were discussing in the Middle Ages. So your idea about where did it come from, where is that it could be the knowledge could have been there, but we just that that knowledge was burnt down. So you're saying that the Prophet Muhammad had access to the burnt writings. Of <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm no, no, My point is, my point is, is that knowledge that knowledge could have been within that world. We simply. From our perspective, we don't know whether it was there because well, we can't. We can't you ascertain. Can knowledge from if you require telescopes and submarines and. I'm sure. No, 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 no. But I'm sure that there, there was that knowledge. What? That Sub knowledge from submarines. No, okay. I don't know what this point about submarines is. Like. What the oceanic waves. You need to go deep down the oceans with a submarine to observe that. We have Wait, to go up sonar. This. We have to. Or, or well, solar sonar. technology. They oh, had sorry, sonar sorry. technology. No, you're, you're saying they had sonar. Then. No, I'm saying. Are you saying they had sonars? No. Are you saying they had satellites that we can observe the interoceanic currents? They had telescopes. The Greeks had telescopes. The Using Greeks, telescopes, the Greeks you won't, you won't be able this to is see. Point, uh, uh, this is the point, in, with my, my point about with the great library of Alexandria. With the telescope, that there is a lot of knowledge. the universe expanding? No. They believed otherwise. They believed the universe is static. Yes. But the Quran says, God created the universe with his own hands and he is the one, the expander thereof, meaning he's constantly expanding it. Yes. Now, yes. Which you, is, which you, is, you don't expect that knowledge to have been there, present there with, with the technological tools they had, right? No, I, but I do think it could have been there, but we just don't know about it now. With what? Because How did they know? This is my point. This is my point that, that, that what there was like we, we don't know how they would know. I we don't. How I, I don't want to use the word absurd, but what you're saying is that there was this knowledge that was available in the. Uh, I'm saying that knowledge could have been there. Sure, and it, that was about 200 BC using yeah. your day. 800 years later, there is a person who, at the age of 40, starts to make this claim and writes this and has this text written that he's put from and never makes any mistakes. Uh, yes, no, and I know. You're saying that somehow this person had access to that information. No, 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 I'm saying that. I'm saying that. that no, no. I'm saying by virtue. I'm saying by virtue of their of that exit of that knowledge being there in the first place. Let's say it wasn't burnt. Let's say the great the well, library of Alexandria. But, but I'm saying that. But the point is that knowledge was there. It could have been there. We just don't know that it was. Where is the, so now what you have to show is that how the Prophet Muhammad had access to this information. Yeah, and I can't, I can't tell you that now. So either, but, either, but that, not only that, but there's a famous uh, embryologist, and he said the claims that the Quran makes about embryology, Muhammad, his him, would have had to discover the electron microscope. Uh, I think a thousand years before, or whatever. No, that no, he was I discovered. Know. He would have to come up with profound. Uh, scientific truth, destroy all the destroy all the technology and everything he had, and then somehow sneak it into his book. Just to be this, 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 this is absurdity. You the claim know, that you make. You I know, know I get when, it. when it comes to human development as a baby in the mother's womb, yeah. there were so many different theories around it. From the philosophers no, and the scientists. I, 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 but this is... on, I want to contextualize it. Yeah. So many. Imagine this. So many understanding of it, right? And they're all full of errors. Come sixth century, seventh century, when the Prophet Muhammad comes in is there, he's somehow able to filter all of this wrong theory. Come up with a new and come theory. up with the most accurate theory, which they didn't get it right until modern times. Like even 1673, when Van Leeuwenhoek had this microscope, they claim they could see a whole human embryo, sorry, whole human being, miniature. in a miniature form, and it'd be get bigger and bigger and bigger. They claim, scientists claim that. 1673, the Quran, of course, 1440 years ago, saying no. Human beings transforms creation after creation of transformation from different stages. Yeah. And today we know that this information is amazingly accurate. Oh no, no, and I. So, so this you is need why, to come up with a no. rational, rational basis of saying how he is able to filter all the errors of science from the past and from his own contemporary times 
and even after another 700, 800 years later in the future, and came up with a correct understanding. You have to justify that. Russians whilst being illiterate. Yeah. No, I mean that, that's why I that's why I find the Quran to be such an amazing piece of work. Isn't and that more reason no, to no, but say I, I, this I, is instead a divine revelation? No, no. I don't think it's got anything to do with divine revelation. So, I don't think. So you know, I you think, have to tell I think that this is not. I'm, I'm, I'll tell you. I think. I think Muhammad was a very, very. Uh, I think Muhammad was a very, very, very smart man. He was, and he showed himself. He showed himself to be incredibly, incredibly smart in terms of military strategy, in terms of the, in terms of, like you said, in terms of what he said, in terms of. But I don't think that you can now because what that's a deductive assumption. That's inherently deductive. What you're saying, he doesn't, he doesn't have access to that knowledge. Hence, there's a divine creator. That's you're that's making a jump the there. Claim you're We're yes. saying is the information that he. The inf had, it wasn't there. It wasn't you're, there. You're, you're yes. saying. I know it wasn't there. No, you're saying. But why couldn't, why couldn't, he, why couldn't he have been a? You're saying he's so smart he could filter all of this incorrect information because he had access to some special tools that he had which wasn't even developed. Not only that, he even challenged the whole world to bring something like the Qur'an and yet people are still struggling to imitate it. This is what we should be discussing because things that he said in terms of falsification tests, you'd expect to be absent. Why is he putting his honor, his stake, his prophethood on stake when you could have just simply not made any of these claims? Why is he saying, you know what, you know the Romans and the Byzantines and so on, look they're having a war, but the Romans have been defeated, but you know what, sooner, in three to nine years time, even though they've been defeated, they will be victorious again. Why is he saying that? You know, you have to because does he know the future? Well, you also you think about it. Understand that today's scientists they come up with theories, new theories, yeah. don't they? Yes. Do we, do we, would we ever say, "Oh, this probably was discovered 500 years ago"? We might just have lost it. No, and I they know. Might just of have course, found it, of course. And they might of just course. Have added it. No, no. This no, is no. your. Why don't we say that? <coughs> because it's not a reasonable thing to assume. Yeah. Right. So on balance of probability, when a man in a desert in the seventh century. Yeah. Talks about profound things that were discovered a thousand or yeah, fifteen hundred exactly. years, eighteen hundred years after. Sorry, thirteen hundred, twelve hundred years afterwards. It's not reasonable to just nullify all of that by saying, "Well, it could have it could have all been there before, and he could have just happened to get it all right and come, no, up, with know, new, and come up with the fact novel." I'm saying that the knowledge theory. could have been there, and novel, we don't know novel, that it was no, there. No, but on balance of probability, if that was the case, then balance. Be, you, if that was the case, if, sorry, go on. if that was the case that the knowledge was already there, then it would already be disseminated. Now the problem is, is you have and no it was other, disseminated. You have no other, but later on, yeah, you, you have no other contemporary source. No, there is no source. That gives the same there is no source, but that's that's the problem with history. So but I don't see. But so I don't see that. He single-handedly deciphered the hieroglyphics. <coughs> yeah. He single-handedly understood the embryology and all these natural phenomena. And not only he did that, he was able to correct their misunderstanding of scientific reality, whether it's to do with space, whether it's to do with interoceanic things. Uh, I'm you not know, saying it was just so, him. It could have been. He could have had a team. Um, but I'm saying, but I'm not saying teams? that. I'm not saying that. Where are these teams? Why is the Quran simply saying this is a revelation from God? And if you had a teacher, they would have just said, "Hey, hold on a second. I taught you that." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> why is but it? But revelation why from God, it, it look, gives look, it, it lends it legitimacy. Look, look, it lends it legitimacy. Imagine his teacher was It allows there. the people to stand behind something that's not. But, in, but think about it, Alexis. If you claim that to be a revelation from God, imagine you did that, and these are your teachers. Yeah. They're gonna leave you alone. They're going to expose you to the whole world what an imposter that's you what are. Happened to because they at the beginning. You. That's what happened with him at the beginning. No teacher, no teacher has been demonstrated to come up like, oh, I taught him that and so on. Historically absent from Muslim sources and non Muslim sources. But that's why I went beyond the knowledge that you think may be available. I said, why is he making predictions of yeah. the future? Yeah. And how does he even get it right? Does he know the future? Number one, how is he able to say no one is going to imitate like this Quran? And people are still able, unable to do that. Why is he making this claim? That you, you know, even in Dubai, the Quran claims that if you endowed as to what God has revealed to his servant, you know, Muhammad. Also, at the beginning of Judgment produce, Day, the skyscrapers in the desert. Produce a chapter like the Quran. Why is the Quran making that claim? And why are people who are experts in Arabic? Do you know there are so many atheist Arabs even today? I'm sure. Yeah. yeah? Underground and overground, right? Many atheist Arabs. I'm sure, yeah. They're born Arab and they will die as an Arab. Yeah. Why are they unable to match something like even something like the Quran? They they don't have to say, oh, I made it. They could have simply anonymously produced this work. 
An excuse we hear is, oh, their life is in danger because if they meet it in the Quran. Silly you know, argument. No, because I don't, they could just simply produce the work but and I they do, go. But the I do world. think the idea of a God. And I'm the not idea of God. No, I'm no, no, no. About but this is my when point. the Quran makes yes. claims like this, yes, yeah. you have to explain rationally how is it impossible yeah. to imitate. Yeah. You know what? You can imitate Shakespeare. You can imitate Beethoven. You can imitate any of this literary genius of music and literature and art and so on. Why is Quran unimitable? Is the question rationally needing an answer? No, I, 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 I agree. I agree. But I, what my point is, is that I think, you know, by saying that there is a God, like let's say, like by saying that there is something behind what I'm saying here, that means that someone, it's, it's, be, it's, be, it's, you know, I've received like divine instruction. I've got divine instruction. But that inherently means that like attack, I, I won't be attacked directly. What, like, I, I lend my ideas to someone else. To someone else, by that way, people can stand behind something. People can stand. It's the uh, very idea of faith, because it's where faith comes in. Because you can't, you, as much as you can have a faith in one man, once that man dies, the faith dies. But what Muhammad did is he placed, he placed, he placed, he placed that within God's, within God's purview, within something that we cannot touch, we cannot understand, we, something that's not on our earth. So by that way, he sheltered away criticism, he sheltered away, and he created the, the perfect recipe for unification. Because once he died, once he dies, the we message lives on, because the message is not from him, it's from God. We already responded to about unification theory. Yes, 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 yes. And but, it doesn't Yes, 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 but this is my point. The other point I want to make is, if there was a God, what do you expect from him in terms of proof and evidence to us? What do you, if there was a God? Yeah. Because that, what we are saying is the Quran is giving you this proof and evidence to accept that there is, there is a God. How else would you... Prayer. How I mean, I mean if, you're, if you pray and your prayers are answered. Many people's prayers are answered. Prophet Muhammad said when he prayed his prayers are answered. Yeah. This was seen. So but, I want to know from you, how else would you expect to say, I, if, if the God existed, I expect such and such evidence. What is your expectation of God? Because you seem to be expectation of God. You know, struggling with that. You know, what is it that's stopping you saying, okay, you know what? I'm still not convinced because I expect this, this, and that. No, I say, I say that expectation. Uh, like I don't, I, like I personally, because I don't seek that expectation. I don't seek but it. Suppose there was a God. I don't seek what, it, but what, this what is the difference. Expect? Yes. What do yes. we expect? What do we expect? Personally. Okay, okay. What, what, what do, do you expect? expect? You, I mean, I assume you know. You, you suspect like you live your life a certain according to the Quran. No, no, no. To affirm the existence of the Creator. I don't know. I, don't, I actually don't know that. How, how we need to think rationally because if the question of God's existence yeah, no, I, I agree, I agree. is in dispute, I agree. right? So we need to have some kind of understanding. What are we expecting then? Yeah. What does God have to do yeah. to make us convinced about Him? But so there is that. What that's, is it that you're expecting? I mean, you could tell me that because I, I don't I don't expect anything. That's the thing. What should we expect? Yes, uh, but but you, can you tell me that, please? Because I don't know. Because I don't think about. We expect convincing evidences, okay. which shows the handiwork of God. And what are those? What are the? What is that? Convincing examples evidence? that we've given. It is. It cannot come from one human being, let alone the whole of humanity. Like this challenge of the Quran to imitate the Quran. It's not just saying, okay, oh, I expect one human being to do it. The whole human being. Not only that, whole jinns, another living creature of God. They are also included too. Okay, but then would you would you expect would you expect to see jinns physically? That's what the question asked you. But the that, question but is, even the jinns can help you to do that job. The fact that no one is able to do it, it gives you credence, credibility that this book is indeed what it claims to be. Because if it was from a human being or a group of human beings, you should be able to imitate it. Yeah. But because no. we cannot imitate it, then we need to really take this claim seriously that it says it's from God and we can't imitate it. That's what we expect. Yeah. If it was from God, it should not be imitable. Yeah. If it was from God, it should say something. I mean, yeah. It should say something that we know that it would know the secrets of the heavens and the earth. Yeah. For example, about these things. You know, the Quran says God has not placed two hearts in one man. He's a medical doctor. He will tell you. No adult human beings is ever known to have two hearts. Yeah. Even though there were babies known in history, they died. Quran uses the word Rajulin. Rajul. But do you not do you not think that how knowledge... is it possible? Yeah. How is it possible that he knows that this will never happen? And it never happened in history. I, 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 I'm gonna be honest with you. 
I'm going to be honest with you. It's also, it's also more profound than that, actually. Huh? It's more profound than that. Yeah. Allah specifically mentions man, no. not woman. Why? He doesn't mention women. Did you know a woman can have two hearts in her body? When a baby is developing with a heart, that's another heart. So yeah, the, so the, that's the, not the woman. Yes. The grammar of the Quran, when we study, is so precise when it comes to these matters that you wonder why. You do. You do. Allah did not mention humankind. Allah mentioned man. The point that I'm trying to make to you, brother, and what Mansur is trying to say to you is this: Do you believe the works are written by Aristotle? What Aristotle's works? Do I don't. I don't. But I. But I take them as a canon of philosophy. Do you believe that it's a canon. Probably from Aristotle. Yes. Do you believe that the works? Maybe like they're Plato, from. I don't. I don't think probably, Shakespeare was a, a one probably, individual. I think he was from, three or four. From Plato. Plato. Yeah. yeah. Shakespeare. Maybe you're saying one or two, but Shakespeare. Yeah. Okay. So then, when Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Yeah. We have more history, more testimony, yeah. more we, eyewitness testimony multiple testimonies in multiple locations in the world of the complete chain of testimonies of the very people that witnessed those things are saying that these were the words that came from Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him you would rather deny that and accept ulterior, all of these ulterior and so what we're trying to say to you is be consistent man no I know but if I all, think if all of the evidence points towards A why do you go to B? Because I think as I a think, reasonable no, possibility. Exactly, exactly. But what, what I what I what I would say, well, I would respond to that is I think, like the Quran, it's a it's beautiful. It's a beautiful piece of work. It's a beautiful piece of spiritual work. Like you said, academic. It's instructive. It's instructive. But then, what I what like, even though it's so profound in its instruction, as you as all of you have told me, you know, as you out outlined. I don't see that equivalating to. I don't see Muhammad not being able to work that out by himself. You haven't studied the Quran. Yes, this is why I'm saying that. I will come back yes, and I will look. So I will look. So you're not there for your position to be able to assess the miracle if you haven't even studied it. That's all we're saying. To you. No, I know. This is why. This is why I say I will. I will specifically. I'll go into the Quran. What we're trying to say to you is look. Here's the Quran. These are the claims that are yeah. being made. We would say by God why it's a miracle at least with an open heart and an open mind study those to ascertain whether it's reasonable whether I agree. it's reasonable that this was the work of Muhammad or some men or in fact it's so profound that it could only come from God no 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 and then, and then and then that at least then you're being honest and you're being fair because you're assessing the claim and assessing the evidence. No, this is what I'll do. This is, I, this is what I do. You know, I, I, I can... What we say to yeah. you, brother, is this. Don't discard it because of a predisposition exactly. of already denying it. But don't fall into that trap. We're just saying, look, be reasonable. We're I agree. Saying, accept what we're saying. But, but, but in study, it, investigate. Study it, no, right? no, no, no. I, I, well, would you well, agree, Doctor? Yeah, well, yes, no, I, I completely agree. And I'm, it's very, this has been a very enlightening conversation for me as well because I, like, you know, I, I, yeah, like I said, I refute religion on different grounds than, than, we, than we clearly had. Like, and we took about an hour for us to, to understand that. But, like, I, I refute it on different grounds. But I haven't really studied the Quran like, like I shouldn't. Like, you know, you know. Yeah, so for please sure. Contact us. No, no, I, I want to be we in contact. We can have discussions oh, off camera. Oh, yes, yes. But what I would say to you, my brother, is this. If there is a possibility of an afterlife, you have to accept that surely that's of more value than anything else in this world. If it exists. If. If. Right? So would it not be prudent for you, my brother, to at least ensure for your own safeguarding of your own self and your eter potential eternal life, that you assess these claims using an open heart and an open mind and go wherever the evidence takes you. Is that not a reasonable thing to yeah. do? Yeah. No, so I, what we would say to you, brother, is engage you off camera if you want to. Of course. Let's provide the evidence to you. I would I would say to you, read the book by Hamza Zorsis. No, I'd say I'll read the book. Of the Divine Reality. There's all, you can watch it on YouTube or hear it on YouTube. It's about 10 or 10, 12 parts, I can't remember. It's called, it's called the, divine, the Divine Reality. The Divine Reality. And uh, I would say, just look at those arguments. They're quite profound. No, I just need the arguments to be able to argue and back. Then, yeah. And then look at the Quran and look, assess it for yourself. Yes, yeah. No, I, 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 don't, I, don't make up your mind 
before you've even done that. Yeah. That's what I would say to you. No, I agree. It's I, agree. I think it's time to keep I think so. I think so, yes. But thank you so much. It was a pleasure, to really pleasure, pleasure, to pleasure for the, uh, to have our, our discussion. Our email address is I would say efdower that, yes, yes. Dot, uh, dot com. No problem. Okay. What, what, what is it? The YouTube channel is also efdower. Brother Mansoor's got a, a channel called Dawawise as well. And I think your email is dawawise at gmail.com. At gmail dawawise. Can you see yeah. that symbol down his hat? Can you see that hat symbol down his hat? Ah, uh, yes, yes. So this is wise. So it's dawa as in D-A-W-A-H, wise. Okay. At, at gmail.com. Gmail gmail dawawise is YouTube. Hello. Okay, okay. Um, but I will, I'll come back here next week, on uh, next Sunday. Oh, no, 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 exactly. no, but I'll, I'll be doing this along with my studies and I'll, I'll, and I'll, take, I'll take evidence and I, I, want to, I want to continue this. Just wanted to, just before Jordan wants to say something, yep. I just want to say the historical studies that have been done today is mainly done with a secular That's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, mindset, secular paradigm in which the basic assumption is there is no supernatural, there is no yeah, God. Exactly. So they study will always have this understanding that this happened naturally. Yeah, there is no God involved. Grounded in humanity. Yeah. yeah God's not involved. So based on that, they will teach you and you will be unraveling and unearthing all these things. But that's the weakness of this message. No, no, I agree. To be properly... Automatically have rejected from the foundation any possibility of a divine or supernatural. Mm -hmm. And the other thing, just to make that point, the second, the second thing is that it's a, it's a common tendency to superimpose East, uh, Western experiences of religion onto the rest of the religious world. And, it, and, they, don't, and they don't correlate. I agree. So the, the Eastern experience of religion in terms of science and progression it's, very it's completely different. the opposite. Yeah, of, yeah. We never had the Inquisition. We never had any of these things. So exactly. just bear that in but, mind. But, but this is my point: is that actually, like, my contention with religion is more so with Christianity than it is with Islam. You know, I, it's more so with that because I, I actually, like, where I began to be an atheist was not through looking at Islam. It was through looking at the Bible and looking through the Christianity. Yeah, we would agree with many of our observations yeah. about Christianity. Yeah, yeah, but this is where my, you know, this is where my. Don't throw the baby with the bathwater. Exactly. That's the approach. I agree. I agree. No, I. I to be, to be able to have a proper coherent I'm argument, to you, my friend. Very intelligent and smart man. Yeah. As, 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 all, as all of you are, gentlemen. Thank you so much. Yeah. Take care. Thank you. I'll be back.